G'day folks, Tony again here for more of the many lives of John Rando. One to four parasangs north of a slime bog. There is a thing that we're looking for, uh, which is called Antihim Shire. And that is what we are going looking for right now. But seeing as we're here, let's take down some of these snap jaws. Because that's some fun XP to have. Let's grab that iron mace. Uh, often worth it. I do have a bow here. Oh boy. I do have a bow here and I am getting uh, pretty heftily messed up. So we'll chuck a freeze over in that direction. We'll have a shoot over in that direction. And we'll try and maneuver so that we're not too far away from this other snap jaw. That took care of that. Uh, doesn't look like any arrows lying around immediately. That leather apron might be nice though. And we'll pick these up too. Let's have a look at that equipment. We're not wearing any armor at all, so that's going to be a huge plus. Uh, compared to our existing material. And what else do we have here? Toolkit, cider, fresh water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so nothing else immediately uh, that we need to worry about. Picking up a few wooden arrows. We're using steel arrows at the moment because they're quite nifty. Uh, that one probably not worth it, but maybe for selling. Uh, and let's grab that as well. Why not? We're not hungry. We're not thirsty. Uh, so we don't need to make anything at those fires. Just want to have a check around here. All right, so looks like a brute here. Should be able to do something about that. A little bit of freezing damage. We don't really need to do anything with chill there. Let's see whether we can dent this thing. Looks like we're doing reasonably well. What were they using? A staff, is that all? What an unusual item. Okay, some stairs downwards over here. Probably not going to be uh, heading down them just yet. But that will be a cool thing uh, perhaps to remember and come back for shortly. Come on now. There we go. And still more of them pouring around. Let's pick up that. We don't need any more of those. We don't really need any more of any of those, do we? Two round cooldown on freezing hands. We could use chill, but I don't think it's a it's a great use of uh, of an ability with a slightly longer cooldown. I'd much rather keep them uh, in case anything untoward or unexpected comes along. Leather moccasins. Are we wearing things on our feet? We aren't. They're not going to give us any benefit, but it is nice to have things on the feet. We have a bunch of weird artifacts here as well. I don't know if we can... Can we examine these? Let's try and find out. Implant optical techno scanner. So that's nice. Uh, we can't use it, of course. A dermal insulation. So that is also fun. And we have stabilizer arm locks. So all things that we found in the Becoming Nook. Uh, we can't use them ourselves, but maybe we can sell them. An engraved woven tunic. Ooh, that might actually be worth reading. Let's have a look at it and see what the engraving says. It's engraved with the scene from the life of the ancient sultan, Antihim the fifth. One night under the beetle moon, a babe was found spotted with mirrors on its eyes by a group of crabs in a Habina neighborhood. They took him into their fold and fostered him, and he became known as Antihim V, the prismatic heiress of crabs. Uh, good times. Sultan histories. Nom nom nom, let's pick that up. So we've got armor value 2, dodge value 6. Uh, so 2 and 6, or 1 and 8. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with the 2 and 6, just for now. There we have it. And is there anything else around here? I was kind of hoping there'd be a treasure chest, but that might be a forlorn wish. All right, so f some some groovy, mysterious stairs downwards. Uh, who knows where those will lead? Ooh, another snap jaw. Hello. Nom, 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 nom. A knollworm skull. Can we stick that on our head? 
Get some extra armor? We can. Oh, that's awesome. Good times. And a painted bronze two-handed sword. Let's also have a look at that. Tell me all about it. Antihim the fourth, deep in the wilds of Alakish, Antihim the fourth discovered Shupa. There she befriended tortoises and played games of chance through the night. Yeah. Uh, Alakish. We have now discovered, and we have a quest to visit Alakish. I would love to. Where is it on the map? Tell me. Um, that's not it. Some forgotten ruins. That's not it. That's our hometown. Where, oh, where is Alakish? That's not it all the way up here, is it? No. Where could it be? What are we missing? What's that all the way over there? That's Kippia. Oh, I don't know where Alakish is. This is driving me crazy. Oh, there's another yellow uh, backed thing just over here. There it is, Alakish. My goodness, that's quite a ways into the jungles of Quud. Uh, we're not going to head over there anytime soon. All right. One to four parasangs north of a slime bog. We are a little ways north. <laughs> Classic. Let's see if we can find our way to where we want to be. Not that way we're not going to. Um, hmm. Was there another way downwards over there? There wasn't. All right, let's zoom back out again. Come on now. There we are. We'll go back down here. We'll zoom in. We'll go to aforementioned slime bog again. And we'll head north. Whoa, look out. That is a, is a slime spitting boar. It is a slime spitting boar. Definitely time for some freezing hands. Am I right? Good stuff. Can we heal up? Whoa. So a slime spitting irritable tortoise uh, coming in to say hello. Let's also shoot them with a thing. Uh, and let's see if we can knock them about. We're having a rough time trying to hit through their armor by the looks of it. But when we do, not going too badly. Just taking an awfully long time. Something must be off cooldown. Surely by now we can hit them with another thing. Another freezy thing. Any minute now. Badly wounded. Come on. Bring it home. There we are. Was that worth it? 125 experience. I'm, I'm saying that was worth it. Raw boar meat. But the tortoise, alas, not leaving anything behind. We are 57 experience points from leveling up. So let's move cautiously. We don't want to get stuck in any slime here. I thought I saw a giant amoeba there, but it seems to have gone slipping off in another direction, which I'm not terribly sorry about. Uh, ah, salt hopper, no. I think it's trying to chase us and slipping in... Yep, it was slipping in things. It's not going to be happening anymore. Let's drop a chill on it because hopefully that's going to stop it from uh, moving at all. Uh, not quite. Although it is still uh, having some freezy fun. I think that might have done a little bit more. Let's try filling it full of arrows because that seems like a slightly safer way of taking care of it. Level four, congrats everyone. We've got another mutation point. Uh, we have some more skill points. We're still one mutation point short of being able to get another mutation. Cryokinesis is at level three with that ego of 21. Whew, that's nice, isn't it? Uh, so we don't have an attribute point. We're going to lose that strength penalty when we get to level six. Uh, so we're all good so far. But we can throw some points into our skills. Let's see what we have here. Uh, a lot of different things that we've kind of already got because we're a scholar. We've grabbed short blade expertise. There's not much else we can do with that at the moment. Uh, disassembling would be nice. Scavenger would also be nice. We can only get Tinker 1 with 19 intelligence. Uh, and we are a ways off of that right now. So tinkering not really looking like much of a thing at the moment. Uh, 
but we could get some wayfaring here, which I think would be nice. Um, okay, none of those are particularly good right now. Bow and rifle, we're shooting with a bow, but we don't have proper agility to really do anything. Um, similarly with a pistol. Hmm, hmm. All right, so that's not going to be a, a problem if we get to level six, though. Very good. Um, so here are some things that rely on ego, and we certainly have plenty of that. Uh, a menacing stare to make things run away from us would be nice. Uh, berating would also be nice. I think that might be a reasonable thing for us to grab at, at the moment. So we've got a menacing stare here now. 72 skill points remaining. Axes and cudgels aren't really our jam right now. Uh, but we may have, what am I looking for? Customs, no, where is it? What am I looking for? Wayfaring. Okay, we don't have 100 experience to, to grab any more of that. So let's leave it be. That was frozen. Is that because it's, okay, it's just scum grass. I was just worried, constantly paranoid about mimics now uh, since the last uh, sort of disaster fest that we had. A horned chameleon, they're never fun. That's uh, a web toad chameleon. Let's try freezing it and shooting it and running away from it so it can't stab us with bad things. Injured, good. Please continue to be injured or worse. All right, it seems to be moving in sync with us again. So let's try freezing it. Good. And we'll try shooting it again. Not having a lot of luck. There we go. Good times. So those horn chameleons, they can uh, they can whack you, they can make you start bleeding, and then it's just not a fun time at all. Um, giant amoebas, these can also hit pretty hard. So we're going to keep using these freezing abilities are, are pretty nifty. Don't know if that has, has stayed frozen. It has not. But this uh, steel arrow with things moving slowly approach is working for us so far. So, uh, oops. So why not continue with it? Oof. Okay. Uh, we got wallop there. That's the drama with these things uh, hitting so hard. Is it going to stay away or not? All right, we took it down. Only 25 experience points for those kills. So the uh, the sort of wallop to payoff ratio is, uh, is not great for those amoeba. Hopefully there's not too many more of them lurking around. Although we are kind of in a slimy, boggy area. So that might be wishful thinking. I don't think, well, it did say one to four parasangs. And if uh, if that means uh, these sort of zoomed in world maps, then we could potentially be uh, wherever this, uh, oh, I've forgotten what it's called now, wherever Antihim Shire is. Uh, although I would imagine it would probably tell us when we, whoa, when we move on to a screen. Two-headed boar there that I was not cautious enough in uh, keeping my eyes peeled for. Where did it go? Okay, it's slipping around on some of this slime. And that's fine. We all do it. Some more than others. Taking a big old hit there with that steel arrow. And it is uh, plugging away at us in a way that I'm not particularly happy with. So we'll try the freezing hands again. 150, that's more like it. Let's heal ourselves up. Looks like it's coming daylight. We're gonna grab some of that raw boar meat. We're gonna make a camp. We're gonna whip up a quick meal so that we're no longer hungry. Uh, and let's see if there's anything else lying around here that looks like it's worth grabbing. All right, here comes another Giant amoeba. 
We'll hit it with the freeze. We'll try and shoot it with an arrow. I just remembered we don't actually have... Uh, we don't actually have the, uh, the bow skills. That's probably part of the problem. Uh, and with that low agility, possibly we're just going to have to live with it. All right. I think we're going to call it on that screen. What about the next one? Well, we've discovered the Ushrun Hedge, which is not exactly what we were looking for, but provided that this is a friendly screen, and it certainly seems like it, uh, then I think we're all good. So a farm of some description... Dogs and pigs running around everywhere. There's a farmer over here. Let's just go and have a quick chat with them. Hey, anything to trade? Raw pig meat, boar jerky, copper nugget. I mean, that might be good for our carrying capacity if we can ditch a few things that are going to uh, equate to $10 worth. Dreadroot chivers, no, no, no. We could, those are probably quite heavy. We don't need all of them. Um, so let's get rid of some of them. Yep. And we can probably sell a few of these as well. That iron battle axe, oh, we don't really have an axe skill either. It's probably going to be strength reliant. Uh, although I guess we could trade for food here, uh, for, for water here as well. So we'll plonk all of these down. Those, uh, yeah, we don't need that anymore. Um, those implants are clearly expensive. We're not going to get much out of uh, out of them for right here. We don't need that extra short bow. So let's grab that copper nugget. I don't know if they're going to have enough to give us all of those things. That iron battle axe, eh, it's not really a great trade, is it? There is a lot of raw pig meat. Um, and we can use that for cooking, I guess. So let's go with that. Thank you very much. Give me that one dram of water. We've got slightly less that we're carrying around now. Uh, and some delicious pig meat, presumably that we can use, I guess, at some point for something. All right, let's continue heading north. Snap jaws. I can deal with that. Oh, another painted thing. Tell me more. Enter him the second. Deep in the wilds of Mikesh Homestead, enter him the second discovered Quavapia Grotto. There he befriended apes and built a glass gazebo. Fun times. What else do we have around here? So if we're working under the assumption that uh, four screens north is going to do it, these Echomaxes are certainly uh, ripping things to pieces. There's a few more uh, bloody looking corpses around. We'll just go and check them and see if there's anything nifty that has been dropped. Like that beaded bracelet, for example. We'll also grab that iron short sword. I think we're currently using a steel utility knife. Yes, we are. Okay. So that's still a bit better than an iron sword. Leather boots, they will probably give us some armor. So we'll definitely take them and we can remove our leather moccasins and get another armor point. Armor four, dodge value six, that is much better. So this will be the fourth screen to the north of where we were going. Uh, and I'm not seeing anything yet about this place that we're looking for. It's not necessarily bad. Uh, but I honestly don't know exactly where it is that we are supposed to Go looking and keeping in mind that because each of the world map screens is uh, ooh, a shotgun shell. Because each of the world map screens is a three by three grid, we could also be uh, kind of off to the side to the east or the west of where we're supposed to be also. So we might go one screen left or right here and then uh, begin heading our way back southwards again. Uh, I could be doing this entirely wrong. I haven't really done uh, quests of this kind before. A willowy leather cap. Interesting. What does that do for us? It gives us one and zero. And it weighs much less than normal. I think we're already wearing a Nullworm skull. 
but I do like the idea of wearing a willowy leather cap. That seems much more in keeping with a with a scholar and a greybeard as well. I can't remember if I started as a greybeard. I think I may have. It certainly looks like that on the icon. See, I have no idea if I'm doing this uh, navigating thing wrong. I have never heard of a parasang previously in this game. Uh, possibly a recent reference. Oop. Salt hopper. Fun times. So yeah, if it's the wrong thing, it's the wrong thing. But, you know. Interesting. Reload. Not quite sure why we hadn't already reloaded. But that's okay. Alright, a wounded salt hopper. Just as I like them. Damn it. That is not what I meant to do. You have no more ammo. I don't believe you. Oh no, I've used up all my arrows. That's a bad call. My apologies, I do believe you. 225 XP. Whew, that was good. Go team. So maybe I need to head back to... Uh, maybe I need to head back to... The village and uh, grab some more arrows if there are any more arrows masterwork bronze mace i mean masterwork is lovely and all but not really useful to me at this point who is that up there is that a pilgrim it is a mechanimous pilgrim neutral fortunately they have a lot of fresh water on them though Whew. let's go and have a quick chat hey how's it going leather moccasins vine wafer not very useful uh, not very useful at all, but it was nice to meet you. Okay, so being out of arrows kind of sucks real bad. So we might just go one more screen to the north, see if it's the screen that we were already on before. It doesn't really look like it. There are just snap jaws everywhere. Oh boy. Uh, hopefully we can get out of this one without being mobbed badly. We seem to be doing all right so far. Losing a few more hit points there, but... Little by little, I think we're I think we're handling ourselves quite nicely. Oof, look at all that stuff. Alright, go team. Iron longsword, yeah, sure. That's not exactly what we need right now. A quilted shawl, a steel longsword. That's uh probably worth picking up. 1d6. How delightful. Bloody leather armor. What are we wearing at the moment? Leather apron. I mean that's kind of the same thing. Jewel encrusted leather cap. Yes, please. Much more valuable. Plus 100 reputation with water barons. Well, we're not really uh, hanging out with any water barons right now. That burnus we can probably put on our back. Which is going to give us one more dodge value. So that's fun. And there's still snap jaws around, so we can't heal ourselves up yet. Lacquered wooden buckler, which means it won't rust. Not really having any dramas with that at this point in time. Yeah, level five. Go team. We'll take this one out. Still not hungry, which is a bit surprising. My sense of the passage of time in this game is a little uh, skewy sometimes. So we're all healed up. We're also capable of buying another mutation. So let's do that. Yes, thank you very much. Ooh. Uh, okay. Find hearing, detect presence of enemies within a radius of five. Nyeh. Multiple legs would be cool for uh, being able to move faster. Ego projection, though. Through sheer force of will, you perform uncanny physical feats. Uh, augments one physical attribute by an amount equal to twice your ego bonus, and our ego is quite big. So that's a long cooldown, but the ability for... I think we had this on Gaunt Board the Taunter, and it was pretty nifty, so we're going to have a go at that. So we can now boost strength or agility or toughness. Uh, and we could do it a fair bit. So isn't that lovely? Let's go back to our skills. And see... Uh, God, that would really be good, wouldn't it? But right now it is just not... Just not useful. So getting something like Berate uh, would be good. But we don't quite have enough skill points for it. Uh... So that's a bummer. And in short blade, again, our agility is currently holding us back. There's a lot of things that are just slightly outside of our range, but we could get 
mind's compass so that we're going to get lost less often. Uh, so let's do that. And that way we won't end up stranded. Well, we're less likely to end up stranded out in the wilderness uh, with bad things going down. Nighttime closing in. More difficult to see our way around. A lovely little campfire left over here, presumably by these snap jaws that we're murdering. Steel longsword. Goodness me, these steel weapons. Uh, quite fond of them. Not going to worry about that shawl. So still not a lot happening here. Although who knows what a parasang is. Should we just keep heading north? What does a parasang actually mean? Maybe it's uh, maybe it's squares on the on the big map. Uh, if I remember correctly, and I could be just horribly wrong about this, I'm pretty sure uh, para implies many. Um, maybe I don't know. Let's keep heading north and see if we find anything. Uh, looks like those might be seed spitting vines. It certainly sounds like it. Oof. Yes, indeed, there's at least one of them. And now there's one less of them. Uh, heroically getting 12 experience points. Eek! Just being a little over eager here. We are bleeding. Oh, the salamanders attacking. The salamanders are attacking. So we'll also take care of that. I hope. Wow, the salamanders give me a lot more drama than I expected. Do we get any salamander meat? We do not. I don't think we're bleeding anymore. Indeed, we are not. What else is there to find here? What else? I'd, I'd really like to find some treasure. We haven't really been digging around it a lot here so far. Staying mostly above ground, wandering the landscape. Are you hostile? You probably didn't see me attacking anything, did you? No. That one there, however, is uh, looking a little bit nasty. Let's hit it with some freezing hands. Take that. 5 XP, so worth it. All right, and this thing here, also now attacking us. Come on now. Another five experience points. Mmm, delicious. Let's make ourselves a camp, folks. I'm going to whip up that quick meal. And that is where we are going to leave it for this part of the Let's Play. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Please tell a friend if you think they might enjoy this uh, video game. And come back again soon for more of the many lives of John Rando. Music